You know how sometimes you try to tuck a bulky sweater into a pair of mom jeans and you end up looking like a Costco chicken bake, just all lumpy and bumpy and it ain't cute. And you end up thinking, how in the heck do all of these fashion vloggers on Pinterest tuck their tops and sweaters so perfectly? I mean, what the heck? So today I am breaking it down, sharing the secrets, and spilling the tea on how to tuck and tie your favorite tops. Hey guys, it's Jess, and today we're talking all about how to tuck and tie a variety of tops. Now these tops are ranging from sweaters to cardigans to blouses to camis and t-shirts. So there's a lot of variety, so get excited, get ready, and let's get into it. We are gonna kick this video off by learning how to tuck bulky sweaters. Now this was by far the most requested uh, thing that you guys wanted to see, so we're gonna do it first. So I have got on this thrifted white sweater. That is a good amount of bulk. This is a pretty thick piece. This is the entire length of the sweater. It's pretty long and I'm not the craziest fan of it just because I am a 5'1 gal and usually pieces that have a longer hem like this tend to swallow up my frame, kind of like Monstro from Pinocchio, the giant whale just swallows me right up. So I always like to do some sort of tuck or some sort of uh, hem lifting type of thing to define my waist. The first tuck we're gonna do is the front tuck, which is one of the most popular styling methods and my personal favorite thing to do. So what we're gonna start off with is by taking a good chunk of the sweater, about this much, and we are just going to shove some of the front on in. So now that we've got the front of the sweater all shoved in, we are going to get to adjusting it. So these corners right here that tend to crease up, I always like to fold them down so they create a bit more of an asymmetrical uh, diagonal line that's a lot less harsh than a big fabric crease. So I just rotate this fabric until it's less harsh. And then usually what I do in the back is I fold this bit under. So it all creates a very smooth kind of look. Now the last step of front tucking a bulky sweater is to finagle with it until you've got it to your desired look. And there we have it, the front tuck on a bulky sweater. So this is what the back looks like. See how we've got this nice slope going on instead of a more weird, harsh, and kind of like lumpy lumpy this going on, this looks so much better. Now, if you wanna tuck your sweater all the way in 360 degrees, what we're gonna do is follow that save method of just shoving fabric into our pants. I do a method of kind of like a push with one hand and then a like follow up shove with the other hand. So we're working together. We're being ambidextrous in this regard. Now this is definitely a bit strenuous and it can get a little tedious depending on how thick your sweater is and how tight your jeans are, but you just gotta stick, stick through it. Stick it, stick, stick, stick on through. Stick, stick stickly. Um, you just gotta stick with it. There we go. So now that we have 360 degrees of fabric shoved into our pants, we have two options. Now if you're like me and you like a casual little drape, you can be almost done right here. All you have to do is finagle with the fabric to get your desired look. As you guys can see, I have this weird crease in the back, so I'm gonna finagle until it's less weird and creasy. <laughs> Here's the final look of the 360 degree draped tuck. Now option number two, if you don't like the drape and you just wanna go all in and just have a fully tucked in sweater, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to unbutton and unzip our pants. Unzipping and unbuttoning your pants is going to just make this whole process, oh, so much easier. So unbutton, unzip, and now we're going to get to our shoving fabric in time. Now the key to this, the key to not having any lumps or bumps and just having a smooth bulky sweater tucked into your pants is to really, just really commit. Just shove all of the fabric all the way in. So 
So I usually start in the back with going deep because you can kind of uh, take the fabric and bring it under your bottom to really get that smoothed out effect so you don't have, uh, again, any lumps or bumps. Now comes the probably hardest part of this whole process, rebuttoning your jeans. And you know, you just gotta, again, commit. My trick is to arch back, suck in, and then really just Hold on, we're gonna get it, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. Now, the zipper, you know, jumping always helps. Woo! I think it looks pretty dang good, and I think this look would be even cuter with a belt. I am so sweaty, but you know, it was worth it. I think this is a look, and I quite like it. You guys, I tucked all of this in. How crazy is that? Next up is a method that looks like the front tuck, but is significantly easier in the fact that you don't have to shove as much fabric in. This one works great for long sweaters. So all we're going to do is we are going to draw up the hem and we are going to fold it underneath. So we're folding the fabric up until about the point of where the fold, the faux hem, is right about at the waist of your jeans. So now all we're going to do is front tuck this portion instead of uh, the whole front portion of the sweater. Then I take the folded up fabric and just adjust it to where it's laying flat on my chest. And now what I'm going to do is just take this little front faux hem portion and then tuck this part into my jeans. Then I just finagle with the sides to get rid of that crease to get that nice slope. And then I just adjust the front until I get my desired look. And there we have it, method number three. Now we're gonna mix things up and move on to the side tuck. Now the side tuck is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a tuck on the side. So basically what we do is we take a chunk of fabric on whatever side you like, shove it in on one side, finagle with the crease on the side to get that nice slope. And then depending on how dramatic you want this slope to be, you can adjust it to however you like. This is about the slope that I like for my side tuck. I think it looks really cute. It's not too dramatic, but it still shows off my jeans in a fun way and it nicely highlights my silhouette. All right, so now the belt method is one that I think is super underrated and one that many people don't know. So we are going to take a belt Usually you would use one a bit skinnier than this one. This belt is about an inch, so it's definitely gonna work. So the belt method is kind of a hack because it's actually just a faux tuck. We're going to put our belt on and we wanna make sure that it's taut, but not tight. We want the fabric to stay, but we still wanna make sure we can breathe. That's something kind of essential for human life. Pull the fabric up until we can't see the belt and we get the desired kind of drapey, uh, slouchy, tucked in sweater look. I get it? I got it! And that is the belt method. I think the belt method is the best one just because this is the easiest that I've been able to breathe out of all of these tucks, except for maybe like the front tuck just because that's very minimal fabric. But this is just so great because you don't have to actually tuck anything. It is time saving, it's quick, it's easy, and it's it's, it's freeing for my lungs and my waist. This technique is also the technique you would use if you wanted to tuck a sweater, especially a bulky one, into some sort of skirt, whether that be a maxi skirt, a midi skirt, or a mini skirt. Now this next one is actually one that I've shared on my channel before, and it is the hair tie method. And I just did the Filipino thing where you pick up stuff with your toes. My mom raised me well. All you do is you take some sort of hair tie. We're going to hair tie the front sweater of our sweater, give it a nice little uh, bun, and I put it in a bun. Tuck that portion in, move it around a bit, and there we have it, the hair tie method. And our last bulky sweater tuck-in technique is to tuck it into your bra. Now, I usually don't go for this one unless it's for like a t-shirt, but I never do it with a bulky sweater just because I already have so much boob sweat and you know, this just creates more. Tuck it into the band of your bra. Now, if I'm going to be doing this one, usually again with a t-shirt, I like to wear a sports bra with it. I just find that it stays better and it's a little bit more comfortable than an actual bra, which makes it kind of bulky and lumpy. Whereas a sports bra kind of just, I don't know, it just smooths it out really nicely and it's it doesn't feel as weird. So then we just lay down the back and that's that. So as I've chatted about a bit on my channel, I have been loving the cardigans worn as a top trend. I think it looks really cute. And this has been one of my favorites. It's just, it's like the cutest look. So all I do usually with cardigans is I do a nice little front tuck. If 
front tucking a cardigan is the exact same as tucking a sweater, just a lot easier because there's less fabric to deal with. And sometimes you kind of have to zhuzh and finagle around with the fabric a bit more just because it is less bulky, it has less weight, and it tends to crease more. And then my other favorite way that I like to tuck in a cardigan is just in all the way. Again, as the fabric is lightweight and thinner, it's not too bad, it's a lot easier. The type of tucks with t-shirts are essentially the same, but we're also going to dip into how to tie t-shirts as well. The first one we're starting off with is the front tuck. So the front tuck, it's the same thing. You gotta just shove in that front piece of fabric. And I usually do about what's in my belt loops, about that much. I think that is the perfect amount of front tuckiness. Tuck the front, fix these sides, and then fold under the back. Play around with the fabric until you get your desired look, and there you have it, your perfect front tuck. Now for the side tuck with a t-shirt, all we're going to do is take the corner of the fabric on one side. I'm going to, again, just do my right side, and we're just gonna shove some fabric on in. For the side tuck with t-shirts to get a really uh, good pronounced look, I like to go in pretty far with the fabric. Now adjust the creases in the front, fold under the side as well as the back. I love the side tuck for t-shirts. I think it looks so cool, especially when it's some kind of graphic tee. I think it gives it the perfect kind of like edgy, like, oh, I just kind of like threw this on, but I look great kind of vibe. So now two ways to tie t-shirts. We are gonna take our little twisty spin, our little diddly do, and we are just gonna spin it nice and tight. And then we are going to wrap it around our finger and knot it. It's definitely a lot easier when you're not wearing the shirt. And that is how you get a cute little knot on the front of your t-shirt. And I would recommend doing this on definitely more oversized t-shirts or less fitted t-shirts just because if you do it on a really fitted t-shirt it's really going to stretch out that fabric now the other way is to use an elastic again i'm just using our scrunchie here so we're making a little ponytail again with the front of our t-shirt the front center and then we're just tucking in now with camis, you are usually dealing with a lot lighter and thinner of fabric, so you just kind of have to play around with it a bit more than with a t-shirt or a sweater. When it comes to camis, I usually just do an all-around tuck so everything is nice and uniform. And this is so easy because the fabric is so lightweight and thin. Once everything is all nice and tucked in, I just do a light tug all the way around to pull it out the perfect amount. The perfect amount is contingent upon your taste and what you like. So this is pretty much about what I like. I think this looks so gosh darn cute. And just because people have asked me this before, what bra am I wearing with this? I am actually wearing a bra. The sticky bra is amazing for looks like this, where you don't want the look of bra straps, but you also don't have to deal with anything showing through or poking through. And I am a ride or die sticky bra fan. I love them. I'll link my favorite one down below. So blouses, button up blouses to be exact are one of my favorite kinds of tops to wear. I think they just look so gorgeous. Also like with camis, I find that I have to play around with the fabric of blouses a little bit more as well, just because the fabric is typically more lightweight and it kind of like folds and creases in weird spots sometimes. This next tuck is one of my favorite methods. I think it looks so cool and it is the cross tuck. So we're gonna start off this one by buttoning just one of the buttons right underneath like the first one you want to button. So if you want uh, like this much neckline showing, then button it from there. If you want it a little bit higher, you can button it up there. And then the rest we're leaving unbuttoned. Oh, hello. Hi, girl. We're starting off with the side that does not have the button and it should be the side that's on top. Cross it under and we're going to tuck it on the opposite side. We're gonna pull it all the way over, make it nice and tight and taut. Then we're taking the opposite side and crossing it over onto the opposing side. And then we just pull over all of the excess fabric to get a nice, really deep crossed look. And then we just adjust our top, adjust any like weird kind of bits, and that's that. I love this one. I think it gives such a fun amount of dimension and texture. And it also kind of gives like a little bit of a 70 spin depending on what kind of top you have. So now we just have one last tuck before we move into one final tie for the blouses. And what we're going to do to kick this one off 
is button our buttons all the way down until our waistband of our pants. Then we're going to take the underside of our button up, the side with the button, and we are going to tuck just that side in. This is something I see all over Pinterest, the one-sided tuck. All you do is you kind of just follow the same rules of tucking as we have with everything else, where we just play around with the sides and then kind of fold the back and then we play around with it, loosen some fabric up, make it a little bit less taut. And there we are. So that is how to not look like a Costco chicken bake when you're tucking your sweaters and also how to tuck and tie different kinds of tops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did and you wanna see more like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. Let's hop into our quote of the day segment. And today's quote says, what a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't happened yet. Now I quite like that because it's kind of just a reminder that the best is yet to come. There are more good things on the way, even if you're like, wow, this last year was the best year of my life. How can it ever top that? You know, there are always amazing things on the horizon. There are always things to look forward to. So keep that little reminder at the back of your head. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have the most amazing rest of your day. If you guys use any of these like tips or tricks I shared, make sure to tag me, DM me, send it to me because I would love to hype you up. I love you guys lots and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!